guys, welcome back to Style Mom XO. So today's video, we're actually gonna be heading into the kitchen because we are gonna be cooking up some dinner. So I kinda have a new filming schedule, or not filming schedule, but upload schedule. So I'm hoping that every Monday and Wednesday I'm gonna be able to stick to just strictly cleaning and organization. And then Saturdays, I'm hoping <laughs> to go ahead and have it strictly food. So anything to do with food, whether it's a, what I eat in a day, a grocery haul, a Costco haul, cook with me, meal planning, anything like that, meal prep food, I'm gonna try and go ahead and post on Saturdays. So today we're gonna be doing some fried chicken in a new air fryer that I just got for Christmas from my parents. So I'm really excited to bust that out and see how exactly that works. We're gonna be doing some homemade macaroni and cheese and then um, what else are we gonna be doing? Some grilled or like oven roasted green beans along with some homemade flan. The kids are actually still home for Christmas break. They go back on the 7th, so you'll be seeing this literally right before they go back. And so I'm gonna go ahead and get some macaroni and cheeses started for them to snack on uh, for lunch. And then after that, I'm gonna make enough to go ahead and go off for dinner. So we're gonna go ahead and get that started along with the flan. And then I'm gonna be coming back and filming a power hour, which will be up on Monday the 7th. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you guys are subscribed, but definitely follow me over on Instagram because that's where I'm most active and that's where I kind of tend to post whenever a video goes up. So with that being said, let's hop over to the kitchen and get started on this macaroni and cheese and the flan, get it in the oven and cook in so then I can come back and do the power hour. So let's go over to the kitchen. Okay you guys, so we're gonna be starting off with the macaroni and cheese. You are going not to need sugar. You are going to need some macaroni and pasta, which we're gonna get inside a bowling pot right now. And then this is kind of hard to find as I'm starting to find out. We couldn't find this one when we were in Virginia, but I just didn't know if it was the stores. But I did post an Instagram story today saying that I'm gonna be filming this and somebody else has said that they couldn't find it. I believe they were in Tennessee. So this is Aunt Penny's white sauce, and this is kind of the creaminess of the macaroni and cheese. Um, you can get it here in California. I know that you can also buy it in Arizona. I know that if you guys can go ahead and get this in your states, leave it down in the comments, please, so then other people can know, yes, it's definitely sold here. So this is what my mom goes ahead and makes the macaroni and cheese with. So that's what I've always known. And then you're gonna need some sharp cheddar cheese. You can use really any type of cheese, but sharp is the best one to use just because it has that like little bite to it. Um, and that's literally as simple as it is, just three ingredients and we're gonna be making some macaroni and cheese. We're gonna go ahead and get started on the flan. So you're just gonna need three eggs, some vanilla extract, a can of condensed sweetened milk, and then a can of evap evaporated milk along with some sugar. I have like a little pie dish here, and then you're gonna need a measuring cup, measuring spoons, and a pan. So I'll have this recipe linked down below for you guys. Um, I did find it online and it is super, super easy. I'm actually gonna need to go ahead and get a bowl to mix up the eggs and this liquid as well. But let's go ahead and get started on the flan. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and have this recipe down below, but I'm just doing one cup of sugar. I'm gonna put it inside of the pot and get that melted down. And that's actually what's gonna be kind of the caramel sugar that is at the bottom of the flan. When you flip it over, it'll be all over the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on medium low and so I can get started on the actual filling. It's gonna take three eggs, one full can of sweetened condensed milk, which I believe is 14 ounces, and then 12 ounce of the evaporated milk, along with one tablespoon of vanilla extract. We're 
we're just gonna whisk that all and then I'm gonna stop and go ahead and check on the sugar. The sugar will actually go ahead and kind of like clump all together and before it starts melting down. The first time I did this, I thought I was doing something wrong, but it will clump all together and then slowly turn into that caramel kind of a color liquid sugar. And then you're gonna pour it inside your dish. You're gonna need to work extremely fast with this because it does harden extremely fast. Um, so just pour it in and then what I like to do is take the pie dish and kind of move it around inside a circle to make sure all that kind of gets on the sides and everything. And then we're gonna go ahead and put in the filling right in there and then pop it in the oven. It's gonna go in the oven at, I believe it was 350 degrees for an hour. Um, like I said, the recipe is down below for you guys. You are gonna wanna go ahead and take some foil one sheet for the top but you are going to want to put some foil on a bottom layer because it will spill over and you'll have a nasty mess of the sugar and it will smoke it will be a horrible mess definitely go ahead and put that down okay you guys and now that i have the pasta it's completely drained I'm gonna pour in my Aunt Penny's white sauce. Now I do have two cans of this just in case I needed a second can, um, but this will feed us and the fam, me, us and the family, me and the family um, as a snack, as well as for dinner and then to have some leftovers for tomorrow. So I'm just gonna open up the second can just to make sure that it is extra creamy. I'm gonna pour the cheese and just mix it all up together. This is literally the easiest mac and cheese that you can make and it tastes so good. Okay guys, so obviously I need more cheese. I only have that one bag of sharp cheese, but you can literally use anything like I had said. So I have a big bag right here of two mixed in cheeses. So I'm just gonna add this in. I'm just gonna keep adding cheese until I see enough cheese in the mixture. Okay guys, and then that's it. And this is actually makes a great dish for Super Bowl for a party. You put it on a warmer and people can be serving it as they're watching the football game. But we're gonna pop this in the oven for tonight for dinner. Okay, you guys, so I just took the flan out. I'm gonna put a plate on it and flip it over and then let it cool down and put it inside the fridge. Okay, now you guys, I must say, I am not a flan expert. I just looked up this recipe, I've made it a couple times, but since I was making it, I wanted to go ahead and film it. Now, if you guys got any tips for me, if you guys are flan experts, go ahead and leave them down below. <laughs> but you wanna flip it over while all the sugar and stuff is soft and melted, so then it can go ahead and like just everywhere, you know? Okay, so we're just gonna let this cool down and then we're gonna put it in the fridge. And yes, it's not perfect, but it's a real easy, yummy flan and we enjoy it. <laughs> so do you guys hear the bubbling going on? Just took it out of the oven and it is nice and cheesy. And so this is what's for dinner tonight on side of the fried chicken. Okay, you guys, so like I said, my parents got me this for Christmas, so this was on my Christmas list. I'm really excited to go ahead and try it out. I was reading a little bit of the directions. I'll link this down below too for you guys. And in here, they did have green beans, which I didn't even think about, and a cook time 10 minutes. It says temperature 390. I do have this that I cleaned out, which is the tray. And then I have the insert, which is the basket. So we're gonna put this down. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna keep this as super, super simple. I do have a paper towel underneath. I did rinse them down already. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil and then some salt and pepper. And by the way, you guys, my shirt, Boss Mom, is from Bits of Brie, Brianna K, here on YouTube. She also has an Instagram, and she has a Etsy shop, so I will have it linked down below, so you guys can go ahead and check it out. She has really cute merch and stuff. 
So my husband and my son are the ones that like green beans. Me and Vega will have corn, but that is what the basket looks like. The direction said push on. We're gonna do temperature to 390. And then cook time is 10 minutes. Start. They look good. They look nice and cooked. How crazy is that in just 10 minutes? We're gonna go ahead and prep the chicken next. Okay, you guys, so my original fried chicken is super, super easy. It's a recipe from my mom, and you just need some flour, parsley flakes, and then some garlic salt. So I'm gonna go ahead and do two different batches. I'm gonna do regular flour for me and the kids, and then I'm gonna do some coconut flour for my husband in replacement since this is a lower carb. Oh, and um, seasoning salt. And we just eyeball this. I think we've been doing it so long that I don't measure anything out. Um, you just wanna make sure that there is a good even amount of each. Tonight we are running on the right track. Okay, you guys, got the air fryer. Got mine in the kids' chicken. I just washed my hands. Don't worry, I'm gonna be disinfecting the whole area after I'm done, but, okay, so this says chicken, 364, 11 to 14 minutes. We're gonna do 14. Okay guys, it is done. Ah, I'm so nervous. Well, that didn't work out very well. <laughs> Let's go 10 more minutes. Okay, well, I don't know how, <laughs> how that's gonna turn out for the fried chicken. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go old school. I don't usually like to fry too much. Um, when it comes to the chicken, I would rather do just a little bit of butter and not have the flour. Fried chicken, this is how we do it. This is how I grew up with it, except regular flour, not the coconut flour. And a funny fact with this fried chicken, my mom and dad had a neighbor that was from the south and she's the one that taught my mom how to do this fried chicken. So. While I have that chicken going, this is about to beep and I am kind of really nervous. <laughs> so if I'm doing something wrong, everybody with an air fryer, please let me know. <laughs> Let's see. But even the chicken, mm, it still is like flowery. Okay, I'm gonna have to go to my backup plan. <laughs> <laughs> stove we'll figure this out okay you guys and this is looking so good and then that I'm hoping will come around <laughs> um, but this is a coconut flour cooks up very nicely nice golden brown okay you guys so that's how it's supposed to look and then this is a, the coconut flour one how cool is that? Okay, you guys, so this is my husband's plate, the green beans, macaroni and cheese, and then the fried chicken with the coconut flour on And then this one is mine, same thing, regular flour, but with corn. So let me know down below what else you guys wanna see, and once again, your tips on the air fryer would be much appreciated by me and my family. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. We will see you guys next Saturday with a cook with me, something food wise, what I eat in the day, grocery haul shopping, I'm not sure yet, but don't forget to subscribe. I do have a new picture on all my social medias and here on YouTube, so make sure to look out for that. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye you guys.